Hey guys, I wanted to break down some fundamental stuff to you today um, about universal laws and certain things that you can do during the day while you're in your conscious state and how to draw things to you during the day and um, also throughout the night and still practice these um, imaginal clips before you go to sleep. But these are, these are practical examples and I want to break down some, some fundamentals of the universal process and how that works. And um, first thing I wanted to explain was how the universe works and how it, it, what the universe does, it actually it mirrors back to you the feelings that you have for something. So if you're, so if you're needing and wanting something really, really bad, the universe as is, is you're telling the universe through those feelings that you don't have this thing. So the universe will, will mirror that back to you and create obstacles that will draw these things away from you because you're telling it by your feeling that you don't have it when you want something and you need something. So try to try to eliminate those thoughts of those that want and that need because if you think about it, if somebody um, say Warren Buffett, I mean he's a billionaire. I mean, do you think that he actually still wants money? Does he still have that feeling that he doesn't have money? No, he he walks around and he goes to sleep every night with the feeling that he is absolutely well, wealthy because he is, and the universe just keeps bringing him more. Just fl the floodgates are open, and they're still dropping money off every minute of every day, millions of dollars, because he, he lives in this, and the universe is, is, is mirroring these feelings back that he, that he lives with all day and goes to sleep with every single night. So remember that when you're trying to create things in your life, always try to imagine and live as if you already have this. So if you already have money, you're not, always, you're not chasing it, you're not needing it, you're not wanting it, you already have it. So these are the frequencies that you need to put off. And you can also put these towards the relationships. If say, if you want a relationship um, with, a, with a guy or a girl, or even a, a, a family member that you used to have a really good relationship with, you can all, you, you're, don't give off the frequencies that, you're, that you don't have this person. Start giving off the frequencies that you already have this person. Stop needing, stop wanting these things. Whatever you want, stop wanting it. And those frequencies will align with uh, the, with the the proper methods, and it will bring the res the actual result, and the universe will will unfold, and these gates will open, and the, you're telling the universe that you already have it, so it's, these obstacles of not having these things will will be eliminated, and the doors will open, and you won't have to do anything. These per like say for example, if you want a new new female or a new wife or a new husband, um, and you don't have this person. But you trick this, it's a, it's a manipulation of the universe. You can apply these techniques as if you already have this person. Start living as if you already have this person. Stop wanting this person. No matter how bad you want this person, stop right there. Stop in your tracks and start feeling as if you no longer want or need this person. This person is, is no longer, you, you're not detached from this person. This person is with you now. So take the feeling on as if you no longer really want this person or need it like you don't have it. Stop putting out those frequencies that you don't have this person. Start putting out the frequencies that you do have this person. It's already done. It's, you're already, you've already accomplished the fact. It's already over and start sending off those frequencies as if you already have that, you already have that person or you already have that job or you already have that car or you already have that house or you already have this amount of money. Stop living as if you don't have that because the universe, it will mirror those feelings back to you. And then the only way that we can communicate with the universe is through our thoughts and feelings and it's mostly the the secret of feeling so whatever your feelings are try to try to connect with those feelings and try to really focus and try to break down your thoughts and really and really look within and see what your thoughts are towards these people or these things that you want and just kind of break them apart in your mind and stop the feelings that you're having this this lack like you, if you have these feelings, you're finding that you, you're lacking in some in some part of your life. Start acting and start feeling like you already have these things, and and break those those constraints from you, and start slowly working on this, because the universe, the universal laws, will just mirror back to you what you're telling it, which you, by your feelings, and that's how you connect with the universe, and that's how you get anything that you want in this world and in this life. So disconnect. Start examining your thoughts, start examining the way you feel. And if you find you, you find yourself trying to get this house or this car or this relationship and and you and you don't have it and you can't figure out why you don't have it, it's because you're chasing after it. Stop chasing after anything that you want. Stop chasing it. Start living as if you already have it and, and transmute and transmit these feelings, these frequencies to the universe that you already have it. Stop chasing it. Let it come to you. Because the more that you chase something, the more that you're telling the universe that you don't have it. And the universe is mirroring those, those effects, those feelings 
back to you and it's going to create all these obstacles and keep pulling it away from you. So be a magnet and stop chasing things and act as if you already have it. And act as if you already have it by examining your thoughts and your feelings. And if, there, if, you, if you catch yourself feeling as if you don't have something that you want, stop right there and change your thought process, change your feelings. And then this is a lot of the, pro, the thought processes that Neville Goddard came up with as these imaginal clips, because these imaginal clips that you do at night before you go to sleep eliminate these thoughts. Because once you create a scene at the end of that movie and you start creating these scenes, um, it, be, it becomes a faculty in your mind and you're telling the universe that you have all these things already and that's the feeling that you're taking into this drift and that's what we're trying to accomplish here guys but these are these are practical methods that you can do during the day if you catch yourself chasing someone or something stop yourself stop chasing it and because you're telling the universe that you don't have it and it's going to create more obstacles so break away steal the mind and then change your feelings consciously consciously change your feelings from that want and that chase and start creating a scene in your mind. Even do this during the day. Start running through your through your mind during the day and start changing these feelings. All right, guys, I love you guys. And uh, give me some comments and I appreciate your time. I'm gonna post some more. Thank you.